This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store Forged Irish Stout. A lot of emphasis on delighted today to enjoy to be joined with Adam Smith. Um, you know, you're back in commentary, you're back in the gig. Um, just had the GBM show here in Sheffield. Um, how did it feel? How did it feel to be back? I suppose it's a good way to start. Yeah, good to be back. Really good. Um, just lovely to be uh, invited to a show which was different, new. I'd heard that um, that they. There was some atmosphere in these and 50-50 fights and young talent and I wanted to experience it but um, yeah Izzy came up to me uh, at an event we were both at and I've known him for a while and he just said what, what do you fancy it and I, I just sort of feel I feel it's the right time to come back um, I'm physically um, much much better um, not quite a hundred percent yet I'm pretty tired after that but uh, no, I will be um, I've been doing everything that my doctors have been telling me to uh, I'm cancer free um, it's been a really, really brutal year. Um, you know, I, I, I couldn't walk properly back in the summer, and I, I sort of had to sort of rebuild my whole, my whole self, and it's been tough. Um, but I love, I love being behind a mic, uh, and I love sportsmen and women. I love boxing, and it just was good to be back, and lovely to be with Spencer, who I've known for so long. So, you know, there's there's real chemistry there, and, and we just cracked on with it, and it was just like. Like I hadn't been away really, it was a bit surreal, but um, but yeah, no nerves, just excitement and uh, you know, I loved it and I just hope everybody enjoyed the show like, like we did at ringside. It was uh, great action and uh, hopefully a good Friday night for everybody. I was going to say that like when you put the headphones back on, the mic under your mouth, like how, what was that sort of feeling like for you bringing back, I'm sure, great memories for so many years that have, have came? Yeah, it, it's funny actually. It took me back to the first time I commentated, which was on uh, the undercard of when Johnny Nelson finally won his world title against Carl Thompson. So that was back in uh, uh, 1999. And I, um, yeah, it took me back. I remember picking up the mic and thinking, you know, I've done this since I was a kid with dictaphones and whatever, but actually professionally picking up a mic like that. And I thought the, the bell rung back then and I thought, man, I've got to talk now. Um, yeah, today was, I just, I just felt comfortable. Um, and I think I've been through a huge ordeal. Um, I'm lucky to be alive. I'm lucky to be here. I'm, I, f I find it every day is very precious to me and my, and my family now. And, um, but I missed it and I guess picking up that mic again was a mixture of excitement, um, the adrenaline, um, but yeah, I, I guess I, I sort of slipped back into it. Um, I think the last one I did was the, the all women's show at the O2 and that was a, a great night and uh, yeah, I've missed being away but you know, the world goes on and I'm back and I'm pleased to be back and let's see what happens next. Do you want to sort of be on the talk sport today? Um, do you want it sort of a permanent, a permanent return? Would you say after sort of getting a feel for it now? Yeah, I think. Look, I, I, I've got to assess sort of everything and, and the balance of my life now. Um, but yeah, I really get on with the guys at, at Talk Sport. They're a fantastic team. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's teams everywhere, aren't there? Uh, as well as Sky, DAZN, TNT Sports, and um, the BBC. Everybody's got great commentary teams. So, you know, I'm 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 sat out. I'm I'm on the I'm on the subs bench at the minute, I guess. And Izzy said, "Come and do this." And so I feel like I'm, you know, I'm back doing something, which is great. And uh, Look, if um, if people call and, and, and they want me, then I'll I'll listen and I'll talk, and maybe we can come up with some some good stuff. But you know, I, I'm I'm going to take it a day at a time. That's that's how I take life now. And uh, it just was a, a pleasure and a privilege being asked by Izzy to come and do this. And uh, you know, I jumped at the chance. Uh, quick chat with the family, but jumped at the chance. I thought it was a uh, a good one to come back to. I love grassroots boxing, but this is grassroots boxing with big entertainment and in a, a, a sort of massive show feel. The production was fantastic. They're sharp, they're slick. Uh, the fights rolled on from one to the next. The crowd was in it from first to last. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, I loved it. I'd love to come back and, and do another one for them. Absolutely, and uh, I think everyone would lo love to see you back, that's for sure. Um, I did want to just ask another few uh, topics. Um, obviously, previously he was at Sky um, and I suppose it's been about just over a year now since, since you have uh, since you haven't been I suppose Marshall um, Marshall um, Marshall Shields was the last fight that you covered for Sky um, Sky have started quite strongly this year with big fights such as Clark Wardley Buatzi Aziz um, Mayor Jonas um, and especially last year Ben Shalom came under quite a lot of criticism and Sky came under a lot of criticism sitting on the outside and seeing that what did you make of the criticism what do you sort of make of, of Sky sports boxing at the minute 
I think they're flying. I mean, it's some great fights. So uh, Tasha and Michaela, brilliant. And uh, as for Boazzi and Dan Aziz, I love the Wardley Clark fight. I was uh, messaging Fraser the other day, and, and I think they just announced Marco and Congo. And I think Callum's trying to get on the bill. I, I think it's some terrific stuff, and uh, I'm really pleased uh, for Ben and for Sky. I love Sky Sports. It will always be in my heart. Um, but it was the right time to move on for me. And I, I didn't. I, I have my own sort of, you know, health issues to deal with and I was in hospital for a lot of the time of last year and I was under chemotherapy for three months so I didn't watch everything. Um, obviously I watched bits and pieces and, and, and heard and I just want them to develop and there's some great fighters like Ben Whitaker and, and Caroline Dubois and Lauren Price and Caris Hartingstall and you know I love them there. They're um, you know I got very close to all of that lot and um, you know I just I just wish them well and I can't wait to see them again and you know I may not be working at Sky but uh, I, I think they've got a fantastic team, fantastic uh, uh, group of fighters under them and uh, you know Ben and Boxer are going from strength to strength again which is terrific to see. And I know it's you know, I know it's a hard thing for you to, to talk about um, with Ben, but did you find some of the criticism that he may have got last year quite unfair, considering you know he is still learning at the end of the day, and boxing is a tough sport? Yeah, look, I've worked with all the promoters, right? It's just nice working with Izzy, who's someone different. And promoting is a very, very hard game. Uh, we started at Sky with with Matchroom, with Barry, and Barry Hearn, and with Frank Warren, and we have Frank Maloney and McKennessy, and we have Ricky Hatton, and all sorts of of different ones. And then obviously Eddie uh, and I worked very closely for, for 10 years. We had a, a boom in British boxing then and it, it was brilliant and Eddie, Eddie's an absolute natural in front of the camera. He's, you know, you, you can't out talk Eddie. He's, he's fantastic at that and, uh, you know, Frank has what a great survivor. He just keeps coming back with, with brilliant fights. He's, you know, uh, uh, the, the two of them are just amazing promoters, Eddie and, and Frank and, you know, Ben's come on the scene. He's very bright. He's, um, he's very passionate and, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed working with him for that year. Really enjoyed it. Um, he, he's, uh, he's great. Even if you call me at two in the morning, it was great. You know, we got on great and, you know, I've spoken to him a lot and I speak to Eddie a lot and Frank and it's, it's great. You know, they're, they're all competing sort of against each other, but under the Saudi roof together. So um, it's really interesting times. And, um, you know, Ben's done really well, you know, to take hold of that, you know, Sky deal and now putting on these these big fights. And, uh, you know, I, I really wish him well because he's uh, an entrepreneur, he's a young guy. And um, yeah, of course, you're always going to get criticism. You know, it's um, it's happened, you know, Eddie got it, you know, you Silver Spoon, you're Barry's son. Yeah, you, know, you just got to get on with it and, and, and move forward. And I think that, uh, you know, Ben and Sky are have a great 2024. I think match room with, with Frank and Eddie, you know, they've got so much going on there. You know, TNT and Queensbury, Channel 5 and, and the Sourlands, it's just everywhere. And I hope TalkSport get a, a huge amount of, of, of boxing because uh, I think they're a fantastic radio station and uh, I love listening to TalkSport. I love Simon and Jim. I just, I almost listen every day. I love being on their show. Um, you know, it's BBC Radio 5. The more people that cover the sport, the better. And um, yeah, Sky have got a great year ahead of them. Absolutely, Adam. A real, real pleasure to be joined with you, mate. And yeah, hopefully this won't be the last time that we'll be seeing you around, mate. Really, really appreciate Thanks it. Thank you. Much. Cheers. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.